With a quick snip, the newest addition at the former Pease Air Force Base is ready to get to work. I would call it significant and then it's a, a milestone. This tower of piping is just one step officials and health experts in New Hampshire are taking to remove PFAS chemicals from the area's drinking water. These forever chemicals have been used in things like firefighting foam or nonstick containers for decades and are known to cause serious health concerns. It's very persistent. So once it gets on the ground, it stays in the ground. Um, and if there's if it gets into the groundwater, it stays in the groundwater until we do something to clean it out. Which is exactly what this groundwater treatment plant is aiming to do. So how does it work? The filtration system is connected to six different wells in the area. Water is collected and pumped through. Once it hits these granular carbon vessels, the magic really happens. What that does is it removes any organics that might be in the water and also removes, incidentally, some of the PFOS and PFOA as well. The water is then carried through a series of pipes and mixed with other chemical clinging materials like ion exchange resin and eventually meets its last stop before being pumped back to the wells PFOS free. The idea is the second one is really an insurance policy. So when we see that we're getting PFOS coming out of the first vessel, we know the group it's still being treated by the second vessel. While the system will only clean a small area, officials say it's a big step in the right direction and they hope it sparks change not just here in New Hampshire but around the country. It's, it's more than just Air Force Base. It's really a national problem. It's going to take a more comprehensive whole of government type of solution to, to get after this and get it back out of our environment.